And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Rodri plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the game begins. Well, that took confidence. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. Well, the execution there rather went awry. Well, Derek, the less said about that, the better, I think. De Bruyne. Back now to the goalkeeper. And teammates around him. Brilliantly blocked. And a short corner here. Clearance needed to be better. Just the challenge that was required. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. He's in here. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Taken short. Foden. On to Holland. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Breaking at pace.
Gabriel. Saka. Rodri. It did look on for them, but not to be. Now, who can he play it to? Havertz. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Grealish. That he could be onto something. Using his physical strength to shield it. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. An attack full of promise. De Bruyne. Can he put it away? A routine save. Not great distribution from the keeper. And the ball with De Bruyne. And he's making progress. Able to close down the shot. Martin Odegaard. White. It's with Odegaard. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. They've given him too much space. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. Declan Rice. And back with Partey. Nicely timed tackle. Chance maybe to use the counter-attacking ability to good effect. Holland. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Partey. Now options are plenty. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Who can they pick out? Still not clear. Just cutting off the supply. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Walker. Oh, he looks threatening. City get the corner. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Put in by De Bruyne. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Rodri. The supporters want to see him have a go. Holland. And the keeper. Oh, it's a penalty. Can they get themselves in front? And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referee's got that right all round. It was a penalty and it was a yellow card. This to make it 1-0. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Manchester 
City. And so the half time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, you might say par for the course as far as Erling Holland was concerned in the first half. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, after a slow start when it was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. So back in business here, City with the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. And support available. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Tomiyasu, Rice with it. Martin Odegaard, Saka. Good looking sequence, but quick thinking defensively. Now the counter attack looks on. Martin Odegaard, Saka, Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control, good work from City to win back the ball, thirty minutes left for play, room to roam for City on the wing, a really top-notch piece of defending, Difficult to stop him. Chance to play it in. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. Grealish. Grealish. successfully cut out you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think well the referee not messing about he's cautioned him well it had to be a yellow card and he knew it was coming and Manchester City will go to their bench Declan Rice. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Martinelli. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, he can't believe it, and you can sense his annoyance. They need to start playing again here. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Well, they have the ball once more. Trossard. Marcinelli. Could cross it in here. And that is how to block Arsenal's corner late in the game.
Well, they're going for the short one. And played in. And no worries for the goalkeeper. And easily cut out in the end. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. Trying to open them up. Can he put it away? And they remain locked together, these two sides, on the back of that save. Well, that keeps it all level. What an important save that is. Well, they've decided to make a change. It's a short corner. Well, behind for another corner. Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number two, Callum Walker. Coming onto the pitch, number six, Nathan Ake. Playing it short. Oh, a fine block. Martinelli. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Timers against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And so there we have it, the final whistle, and Manchester City have lost this game. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least, and it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.